have over a dozen songs to number one in them. I never see that yet, you know that. Yeah, man. We're, we're blessed, man. We're blessed and we give you the glory because we put in the work, you know. And and the album is special to me for that reason being because for our album where, where 15 is 15 songs and 13 out of the 15 were number one somewhere in the world is, is a blessing because them time they you'd have, you'd have do an album and maybe two or three songs, a big song. You know, I was I was blessed with for, for our album like that. So you know, you know the album there mean a whole heap to me, you know. That define you, brother. That album there define you. Yeah man. And very few you. artists did, did did something like that. Very few and, and um you know give again give Jad the glory to be you know for bless me with something like that, brother. The man is like a super artist, brother. Not knowing it at the time because you're so young. This a one. This is basically two months after Shelly and you know, brother. Yeah. Me not talk about two years in a way. Yeah, yeah man. When you see it's the nine months in a dance. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But yo, the work with that. Yo. Yeah, man. I was, I, was, I was so excited and, and want to show the world, you know, what I can bring to the table. Because remember when we bust in you know, the heart of Beanie and Bounty kill a while when nobody want to hear nothing but Beanie and Bounty. You know. Me know. So, you know we did have to come and prove our point, say, yo, we deserve a day or so too. You understand? <laughs> we are going to expound on that a little bit. See? Yeah. We are going to expound a little bit on that. You see, when time Bunty and Beanie them around the thing, yeah. it's like the man them represent general penitentiary. Every artist who want to bust that prison. In yeah. terms of, you can't jump over the gate. You yes. can't walk around them mountain. There. There's no way through it. You have to just observe. What you do, yeah. you actually did the impossible in a bit. Yeah. At the time, you know. At the time, it, it seemed impossible. But it's, it's like, it's, it's timing, brother. Because, you know, when, when you have it's music, life in itself needs balance. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And them, the, the, the item of war from, from 93. Mm -hmm. Straight through, straight through. So it's you, you musically you're hearing war and Batman lyrics for three years, and then we just come with something different. And once we come with that difference, there it, it balances the thing now where you hear happy music and sad music, and then Colin, um, Colin G, them did both in other time, then also you mm -hmm. have all type of genres are play at the same time. So that's what makes the music itself just nice. As opposed to just a year one bugger, you understand? Yeah. So that I, yeah. I think you know that was that played a, a very important role in you know, the genre, you know, the culture itself, where you know we come make a difference and even push for them say, all right, let in every other um, part of the, 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 the music. You know what I mean? You want mm. you want some happy music and some nice dancing music and. You know, the, the Rasta them get for them time and everything. The bad man thing still around because killer them still do them thing. You know that? You know them really? Yeah. So the man bring the sauce with a big stirring spoon and stir <laughs> the thing and make it colorful. You know, the wood spoon the way I yeah. Colorful. Yes, I. Colorful. Colorful, brother. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, brother, we you don't know. As we say, we have to go on no, no, no roses. We have to go on no, no. Brother, we have to give you respect. Respect me, no, yeah, man, no, again, man, respect. respect me, Zane, the second album dropped 2000, four years after. It, 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 it's expected because yeah. you have so much things to say. Yeah. But I mean, within, within the time of, 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 all of all of that before the I'm a Big Kid album dropped now, mm. I tour the world, brother. Me go everywhere in the world. Me, me, the only continent I touch was Australia and I, and the only reason why I'm not go Australia yet because it's too far. <laughs> everywhere. I go everywhere in the world. Anyway, dance hard play. I've been there. That's one of my dream then. I shall do that before yeah, the expire date. I'm gonna take a a a a a page out of your book and I just, shall just travel come for the next tour, man. Just come for the next tour because we are yeah. going around again because the world yeah. love we you know. Yeah, we are take that invitation that we shall see the rest of the world, brother. Yeah, man. All right then, you are the let me just say it the right way. You are the prodigy before the baby sham them, the assassin them, 
Yeah. The busy signal then. You know, the whole of that, the early time there. And you set the record straight with discipline. And you kind of blaze one trail where it carried to international shores where you were so in demand. When I time Jamaica not be for a long time. Yeah, man, I miss it from Jamaica for a good two, three years, brother, can ever they are foreign. Me, 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 do, me do some research. I know people <laughs> will know you, so I <laughs> know that. See, so can you speak about your international collabs? Because when you're both at Jamaica, you know, you're in demand of foreign and the yeah. whole hip hop market welcome you. Know. Yes. Well, yes. when my first introduction to the international market was true. Um, Salam Remy. Salam Remy is one of the biggest producers in you know, the world. Mm -hmm. You know, he produced you know everybody from he did um the Fuji's first album. So I got introduced to to the main street to him when I did the remix for um Scrubs. Oh, uh, yes. Same, 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 so with same, the song same. with TLC, with the song I do, I've done song with Janet Jackson. I do song with um Tupac. Me the song with um everybody. Pitbull me the song with I've stop. done songs with stop, a lot stop, of stop, 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 stop. Yeah. Brother, you know you know the mountain and name Kilimanjaro, right? Yeah man. Alright, you know say enough people attempt that climb there and drop them youth. <laughs> it's not it was the easiest thing because Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brother. Mr. Wilson. Yes, sir. Mr. Wilson, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're yeah, my yeah, namesake. Yes, Mr. Wilson, sir. <laughs> All right, yeah. Brother, Janet Jackson. Yeah. Two pop, brother. Yes. My work with... Real... <laughs> yeah, man, my work with the, the Shakur family. We did the track. Um, he has a... See it at the rock, he does it at both. I don't know what's going to lie in here. See it We don't know what you're saying. So, so they, they did they, he did this book called Rose that grow from concrete. So mm. these are his poetry he he did from oh my, let me see it. So we work with the, the his his mother Alfini and I produced the song and they have an album as well mm -hmm. that um, they teach his muse his poetry in schools in the colleges here in the state. So mm. what what I really what. I appreciate about this project is that there's a quote that Afini used mm -hmm. on the album, which is my quote. So check it out, man. It's a, it's a dope thing. Brother, you know the man is a diplomat, brother. Why I say that? Yeah, what, brother? <laughs> I tell you about Kilimanjaro, right? Yes, sir. The clothes says. Some people have ever come to having that being a dream come true for conquer them mountain there. And you know them dream. The man literally did collabs with some of the biggest icons them in a music and yeah. share the stages and humble like me, yeah, me, man. me, me still I try wrap my head around him. He's a big head, you know, so he's a lot of rapping. Yeah, man, so Pascal I remind me the groove of mother. <laughs> This. Yeah, the, the, a whole heap of different big, big, big talent. Uh, my first, the first time sharing stage with mega stars was the first time. It was '97. The first mm -hmm. time we got England for a thing called Notting Hill Carnival. Mm -hmm. So they had they have two major stages: the BBC stage and the Kiss stage. Mm -hmm. So so BBC stage is like. Hardcore, like mm -hmm. so. We was on the we did up on the stage with with Little Kim and Busta Rhymes and and um and um and um, um Wu Tang Clan and and you know what I mean all of them names in them time there. And mm -hmm. then on the Kiss stage you now, them have we as the closing up mm -hmm. after the Fuji's and and me had to have some name, brother. And we couldn't mm -hmm. believe, we couldn't believe, and and I was. At that time, I remember, like, we said maybe, like, close to a million people upon the, upon the whole carnival thing. And I was, I was nervous. Said them I going to put me on after Fuji's. Them time, Fuji's are thinner, brother. Fire. And um, 
me and Goofy and uh, uh, Akai say, yo, dog, oh, we have a perform after them people. Yeah, set them set you up, dog, for, for come to England, come flat. Because me and Goofy have the, the two biggest songs them in the charts. Me and talk national charts at that time. Fuji yes. and, and, and Fuji and Shellyan was in the national chart at that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we are saying, yo, they must set you up. And the, you know, um, David Radigan. Yeah, man. David yeah, Radigan man. run, come backstage and say, listen, you guys are going to tear the place up. Yeah, we for real. The man said, Watch this and go. The man said, Next on stage, out of yeah. Kingston, Jamaica, brother. Yes, yeah. and could I hear it? Yo, nothing else. Yes, we yeah. run out. Mm. Oh, God, brother. <laughs> I know when you think about it. Watch out. Yes, Shaga, please yes. leave from people. Let's sing and we do that. Dog. Those were the days, man. I mean, it still happened to, to this day that me love, that's why I love perform because I love the reaction I get from my fans, them brother. Me put me mm -hmm. take pride in when I perform, you know, because when people pay their money for see artists, artist, then pay their money for see a performance. Yes, so from, yeah. the, from the dress code to the hairstyle to the glass, everything of it, you have to be a star. You understand? Know? So you can't just run on the stage and Pull up because you get a forward. Me no DJ for pull up. So any yes. any any band can tell you where, whenever them a perform, when me a perform with them, me never yet want a band for pull up. Just music, music. Pro, the people them come for see performance and want uh, hear you sing the song them or them hear it on the, the record or on the yes. CD. Yes, brother. <laughs> so me, 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 me take pride in my craft and me make sure. We can deliver the song them same way and, and the same way you hear it from the CD, I see me ever hear it from the stage. Yeah, brother. Like me know that for a fact and it's like so much things like where I run through my mind now that you say some of them cause some of them things that I, I first may hear it and I know enough people on the life. A first thing a first time them I hear it and the first thing come to mind is you're so young. You have all of this glory I come to you. And me know you have degree them as the general them with a kind of tutor you can off to keep your head level. But you're young, brother. So you yeah. have youngness at work against that. Oh, you maintain that humbleness there and still find inspiration for write more songs. Yeah. Um, me learn a, a, me learn a, a, a thing about humility very young. Where to me there on the item, me don't run a the main street for, for, from a young age, mm -hmm. me see artists boss and me see artists career dead. So me I visually seen artists, but me not call him name, but you see we see artists boss and mm -hmm. then two years after them career does flop. So me I learned from early out say you can never hype on people and me I'll never ever hype on my fans in not yet, not time at all. And so me keep that hum humility at always and know say boy live your life according to that a, a humble man a humble, the humble calf drink the most milk right yes, then the industry for a while because I understand brother yo that, that's a profound because you have some people you know win cash pot you know 200 dollars you know and them act like say a Jesus, them turn it up. Brother, you get to them amongst the grace and the humbleness where you're written. Yeah. It's it, it humbling to even me. I'm learn from them things there. I'm going to come in and, upon that. And plus, when you have a good team surround you, brother, mm. um, that, that plays a, a major role. And the team, the, 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 I'm blessed to, to be around my team right now, especially, you know, Mobile Movement's team where. It's it's straight grounded. No 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 hype no dead no time at all because at the end of the day mm -hmm. they they want to, the best for you as the artist. Them no uh, them not try hype you up or make you mm -hmm. not understand the, 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 the bigger goal, the bigger vision. We got Mogul Be Mogul Beast, we got Pascale, we got Mogul Movements worldwide, big up John, big up Amy, big up the whole crew, you understand? Big up God. Big Stop up right Father there, God first. Stop right there, sir. Mr. Carlton Grant, big up your damn self. Vince. Oh, listen up, listen up. <laughs> All right, listen up. What up? Okay. We are talking about humbleness and the humblest man. What up? Here, so, one listen. go. You see that brother there? 
Listen, it's a yeah. Carlton Grant. You yeah. don't know anybody know him as Praga, but yes, it's Carlton Grant. Yeah. I'm a brother, 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 brother now. Yeah. You understand me? I said, yeah. like, yeah. nobody can tell me nothing about DJ. You're mad. Yeah. I'm yeah. an artist. Yeah. We share the same sentiment. Listen, listen, there's a, <laughs> there's a segment in my performance where we yes. make it known say my favorite dancehall artist is Praga Benz. You are like one million in the world. Because many right. youths are saying the same thing where you are saying. I'm an artist, brother. And, and, right. and enough, and enough yeah. thing that me and DJ mm. go through. Yeah. When we when we dip on road and rain and thing, yeah. I'm an artist. Yeah. I'm an artist. We are gonna go to Praga. that one. We are gonna go to that in the words. Praga has this infectious loyalty where you make youth and you tug on to him where you will turn the interview about Praga and a red rat we are talking about it. Exactly what you want. Him know what you know. You think him know <laughs> All right, so hear this now. Have you ever have a song? Where you know, say a bad song, cause you can't know. Where you think yes. you're getting no justice? Many times, many me. times, many times. But but also, me used to feel a way about it until me understand the journey of music. So mm -hmm. check the levels. Yeah, brother. So check the levels. Mm -hmm. When me there at Jamaica, and I, and we start with production after Main Street mashup, mm -hmm. right? We learn, we learn the craft of production. So we know when we are producing, we know, you know, we learn from the greats. Steely and Cleavy teach me everything we know in our music. Because I used to sit down and I watch them produce everybody. When we go down a, a studio 2000, when the man them outside, I chat me in at the studio and I watch them and them teach me how to do Pro Tools and everything. Mm. And we start producing the song them. And we start with label and, you know, we are, we are friends with the radio this jacket them and DJs and, you know what I mean, I say? And we mm. start producing the song them and you give a friend them, we're supposed to be a friend them for play it and then not play it. So it used to broke my vibe and me I said to myself, say, the man in a rate me or whatever, until me understand, you know, we are fly out now and we go out some places and we are here, we have a reading name judgment. Mm -hmm. but not, uh, I don't know if you know what they really did. They already did. They said they already did play like in you know, the Central America, Costa Rica, and Panama, and then places. Eh? Mm -hmm. Big, big rhythm. So I get to understand say, not everything you produce is necessarily for that specific market where you think it is for. Understood. understood. That's an, I have songs mm -hmm. that never play one time in a Jamaica. The song that higher. Mm -hmm. Never play one time in a Jamaica. 27 million streams to date. You understand me? Yeah. So I yeah. realize that I'm not have to produce. The music I produce is not for one specific region. Understood. If me, if me do a song, me, me, me learn now, so once I do a song, I just put it out and whosoever like it, we gravitate to it and appreciate it and accept it. You understand? Would I love all our songs in Bigger Jamaica, but I know every song of a Bigger Jamaica. If we find one at Jamaica and it run where we give thanks because we like our songs where you know I, I mash up the mash up the ground because yeah, that are your own ground. Mm -hmm. But you know, me not me, me stop penetrate and say, you know, me want the song for Jamaica. We have the songs for the world. Whoever accept it, accept it. World music. Yeah man. All right, brother. Well said. Um was there a time in a, your career that you were like at a crossroad and feel like your career now go like oh to go on the normal Wallace Wilson just now move like Wallace Wilson and things just absolutely you know, can, can you speak about it a little bit absolutely everybody every artist must go through this in them in a life and they are in them career and it just it, it, it is a test is a test for each person to see how you know great it is or, or if you have a give up. You understand? In about 2007, it reached a point there for me because of many things happening in 2007. My father dead in 2007. Um, me and my management team at the time break up, separate ways, and is that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Condolences to the Wilson family. Yeah, man. It's, it's a yes, part sir. of life. Yeah, man. Give yeah. thanks. We give yeah. thanks to it. But yeah. me, me celebrate, me celebrate him, him life and him journey and what him do. To me and what him do in our mm. earth and in, in his his greatness that he did. And he, 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 it, it splashed by me to an you understand me can use what him give me to give the world as well. So big up Mr. Wallace. Yes, sir. But um yeah, in a them time the, when him dead and everything, it was in a the heart of time when them say you have to choose a side, in a the heart of Gaza and Goli War and Alliance. And if you're not a part of this crew or, or a part of that crew, you know, breed them and I go play you and me, me find myself me find myself you know, when them said to me, say, yo, me have a giant side. And me have my two sides, then me don't need no more side. And, and <laughs> me don't feel like, me at that time, me never feel like me did have a giant aside when the, any of these two sides, or any side where me have a giant, still not doing the work where me did that. Me see, right. I mean, I'm red rapper. And most yes, of them right. artists, none, none of them never reach the level where me did. You understand? And the places where me have gone, people will know me. So Which why me should I did have a China side and me and two me and the two side them are friend. You understand? Yes. Me and my are friend and, and me and me and Cartel, I wouldn't say me and him was friends, but me and him never have a bad vibe. Anytime him see me, or me see him was always joy and always respect. Mm -hmm. And me never did a play the politics there. So me decide to say, you know what? Me I take my career to a different level where I sh I know I can go to the mm -hmm. international market. And it's is is a step where you have to brave to do it. You have to brave to know, say, all right, I am talented enough to do it. And when I met the step at the time, I, you know, me, me feel like more give up on music and a whole heap of things and me that live a careless, reckless, reckless life. And me meet one girl who changed my life 100%. If it wasn't for, for she, I don't know what mood are right now, and, and me can talk this as a man straight. You see, when you have a good girl in your life, your life will be better. So, she, she, me meet her, and, and she said to me, say, yo, I don't like how you look, I don't like how you, you, know, you do your thing, and I want to help you. You understand me, I said? And I never buck up on nobody like that ever in my life, where, where willing to look past the artist, the artist Red Rat and deal with Wallace Wilson direct. And she said to me, say, yo, I could start with own label and we just do it in. We don't have to wait for no, 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 no producer, bigger producer for vice for him reading. We don't, we don't have to do that. We are, we are great producers, we are great writers. I could just have with tunnel vision and just stick to the goal. And brother, I have to be a girl, Pascal will always get my love and respect, no matter what. Because, you know, she wouldn't dare say right now, brother. Big man thing. You understand em me? Empress. A uh, boss lady, man. And, and, big and up she, yourself. Yeah, man, a boss lady. Anyway, you there, big up yourself. Yeah, man. We have a similar testimony, but I hear interview. The person know themselves. Yeah. Is it? Mrs. Wilson, if I never <laughs> you... <laughs> Why, may I tell you, but it's about Mr. Wilson. So, Mr. Wilson, we are talking about Pascal. Yeah. Dull moment. I just say you reach. Please continue. No, man. So, so we started to do one thing, and, and she's a, a, a great artist in her own right. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, she, she, a lot of people don't know so she play piano. She, she's actually play the piano. So, most of the stuff them were, were produced now. Mm -hmm. I see her, she the them and, you know, me put in a couple drum sounds or whatever. Because she, she, she was, she's a fan of dancer. She's a fan of the music. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so her, 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 she, she have been following the new, the dancer music from she was a kid. And then, mm -hmm. you know, free her influence of pop music and, you know, all different type of genres where, where it come together. Where, because, you know, me not listen to just dancer music. My, mm -hmm. dan my, my musical catalog varies from, you know, rap. Ratalog. Ratalog. Yeah, ratalog varies <laughs> from rap music. Or I, don't, I listen to all different genres. So when we come together now, it created a, a, our own song. And mm -hmm. from there, we just start the way I do. And, you know, 
sky's the limit, you yeah, see? <laughs> yeah, I know, brother. Amazing, 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 amazing. So, may I go stop and ask you something important because, you see, the man is like a, a mega star. He's in comparison to like the Rolling Stone, modern day Jamaica Rolling Stone. <laughs> uh, Mick Jagger this. Yes, I. In a Wallace with his skin. Yeah. That diverted from the typical cliche standard topics of the dance era and do yes. a song like Rise Up Zimbabwe. Yes, I. Where that come from? Yo, so Rise Up Zimbabwe is a very special song to the Mughal family. Um, Africa and a whole is a is a place where love dance and music. You understand? Every artist where go Africa get the same royal treatment. It's not different from going to sip on the internet now than when we did it. Mm -hmm. You understand? So um a producer reached out to me, a young youth, mm -hmm. and said, you know, my tell me professing the, the love of what the, the country have for me or whatever. And he is a, 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 a he want to do a song with me or whatever. They don't have no money, they don't know nothing about the music industry, then them just can build bad reading. Mm -hmm. And I tell them send me one reading and them send me about twenty reading. Man. Every one of the reading them bad. And I say, you know, say me I go work with them youth, yeah. And I pick out one of the reading them and I write the song about everything that he was telling me about. Zimbabwe and how them love way and love dance all and how them love me personally and you understand? So I just write mm. a song about that and the song end up being big number one song in a in a in a Zimbabwe. Even to this day there's there's they still use that record like them 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 the, the Chapit in a Zimbabwe with Bob Marley was their mm. national anthem. Now this is what them use as their national anthem. Congratulations, King. Yeah, man. I'm one, and from that, we have only a song we're running in a Zimbabwe. There's another song called um, um, Never Give Up Zimbabwe that Pascal wrote. Me and our, mm -hmm. um, Japanese song. When mm -hmm. they, was, they was doing the, um, when they was trying to host Mugabe, Mm -hmm. the, 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 the young youth them where that try get rid of that dictatorship that was mm -hmm. the song that they were singing. You can we have the clip as well though them was singing it on the news. But they might use that as the theme song for you know get rid of the 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 dictatorship in Zimbabwe. I believe you man. I read what you talk to you know. <laughs> no, we have, you have some you have some people here talk and things you have stories you have like you like you tell and Ray and Tay, but we, we we talk facts around here. Me know, man. Me know, man. <laughs> All right, then, brother. So, the Zimbabwe thing, rise up Zimbabwe. So, the man farm him label after the the time where you know feel like yourself. Yeah. So, hear me now. What does the label Rata Castle? What was what would that mean? So, Rata Castle was a label farm with. My farmer um, management, um, Scoffrey. So it was me and Scoffrey and, and another partner in the, the whole thing that farmed that label. But mm -hmm. the label where me and Pascal farm is called Mogul Movements Worldwide. Voila. Voila. Do the rat attack. Yeah, do the rat attack. <laughs> Rata Kassa really, Rata Kassa really come from 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 Killer and Ronald. Uh, that them used to call me. Rata Kassa. Killer never called me Red Rocket. Ronald never ever in his life called me Red Rocket. Rata Kassa them call me. Okay. So it, it does it, it makes sense and we just found the label them time there. Clarity, clarity, clarity. <laughs> All right then. So now we are gonna transition now. I'm going to ask you the obvious because a lot of people don't know. So I'm going to say, are you responsible for putting on any artist like boss artist to say, yo, I'm me responsible for them like our degree and go for them and archive you. So make sure so I can be this person. Are you responsible for any artist? One, two, three, man, woman. 
responsible. I would I won't claim responsibility for, for, for saying me responsible for artists. But we have help. Me I personally I help all of artists um, from.